We've been undefeated since our loss against Chelsea, but we still only find ourselves in third place. A win over second place Marseille today can definitely write that wrong. And we've got the Europa League first round knockout leg against Legia. First round knockout leg, Legia. It's, it's almost like you couldn't make it up. Hey guys, Woody here. Welcome back to episode 54 of Sunday League 2 Premier League, a journeyman save. If you're enjoying this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Tap that bell notification, smash the like button, chuck a comment down below. Let me know how you think we're going to do this season, because we are fighting on three fronts. The league title's probably a very far, 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 far thing. But anyway, let me know. Can we do a double, maybe? Anyway. Let's get into it. Like I said, guys, we have our we have not lost a game since our uh, loss against Chelsea, which uh, saw us tumble out the Champions League. Uh, it has been quite a few games. We came back and we uh, we gave Nice a bit of a touch up three nil. Then uh, Niort in the Coupe de France ninth round, uh, we won three nil, even getting Luke Mbappe sent off. We then had Rennes in the um, <clears throat> tenth round, of the Coupe de France, and we won two one. So a little bit dicey there, but you know their goal came in the eighty third minute, so it was kind of done and dusted anyway. Till then, we then unfortunately had a draw after our winter break against uh, uh, Saint Etienne, a one all draw with a Charles Abbey getting another eighty third minute. That was eighty third in the Rennes game, wasn't it? Yes, it was um, to rescue a point for them after we went. Uh, Ahead after five minutes through Holman McCormack. We then beat Montpellier 3 0, which is good because I always like to beat Montpellier after what has been dubbed the Montpellier disaster uh, of last season, which was uh, the 4 1 loss here. Um, they haven't beaten us since, so the Montpellier disaster is almost a blot in the history books. Anyway, we then unfortunately had a bad draw against Len, uh, 1 all. We had to come back there. Holman McCormack risking our blushes there for a point. We then had the Coupe de France 11th round, who played VAFC. I'm not sure their full name, but anyway, we beat them 3-0, so that was a lucky one after getting Ren in the 10th round. 3-0, nice and easy there. Sure enough, with a double. We then had Brest in the league, and we beat them 2-1 with a, uh, a relatively rotated team, so that was good. Thomas Henry, sounds like an English version of Thierry Henry, but anyway. Uh, we then had a huge Coupe de France quarterfinal win over Marseille with Eric Shurinov getting us the goal in a 1 0 win. So we have Marseille today who are in second, and we have that first first leg uh, game against uh, Legia from Poland. And then we have uh, Lille in the Coupe de France semi final, and there is some excellent Coupe de France semi final news. These are the four teams that are left. Now, the eagle eyed amongst you have probably noticed that. PSG aren't in there. No, they went out in the quarterfinal to pe uh, to um sorry to Olympic Lyon one nil. I was really hoping AS Saint Priest beat uh, Lille, um <clears throat> and they needed penalties because that would have been great for a semi final to have uh, there. But we've got Lille, the um <clears throat> the team who needed penalties to beat. There must be a um a league league two team, but Montpellier. We could face Montpellier in the final. I think Lyon will probably do them, but. There's a good, good chance to win the Coupe de France. We will not get a better chance here. Have a look at past winners. We were runners-up last year. I mean, you look, we won it. I mean, if you go from 2014, there's been two different winners. It's been PSG every single time. So we've got a chance there. Um, League-wise, it's, I mean, they're 10 points ahead of Marseille, 11 points ahead of us. It is really us three sort of pushing for their... Uh, they have lost a game, PSG. Surprisingly, it was to Monaco, who were down in the fifth. So um, the Coupe de France is the one that I'm really, really looking forward to. That's one I think we can really, really get uh, our, our grubby little mitts on. Anyway, uh, I think I picked the team. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I think this is the team for Marseille. It's a pretty strong team because obviously we need this win here. Um, we'll go two points ahead of them in the league, which is... Good. Uh, so it is going to be Al Joachim goal. Feel it right back. Capilla and Ame in the centre of defence. Castillo at left back. Al Masahi and Morganti sort of flanking Dumal in there. Roussel, Shurinov and McCormack up 
run. Uh, good. T ah, I've got some transfers. I've got some transfers. Obviously, the transfer window. How could I forget? Um, so players out. Uh, Apollo went out on loan. A couple of guys went out on loan. No biggies there. But I guess the we we were in th four four players. I went in four players. Did I? Five players. Wow, I went pretty crazy. I didn't, I'd totally find it's been a few days since I played this, so apologies there. We brought in this guy, Narcissi Kingu. He was a lot better before, but he's a central defender. He's 20, I, I really should pay more attention. I didn't realize he was 23, and he's only two stars. It's not very good, but he cost half a million. Um, he's been playing in Portugal. He's actually played two games for me already because I, you know, we've had the center, um, then about problem. Anyway, we bought in this guy because remember the goalkeeper crisis. He's here now as an emergency backup. One and a half stars. Good stuff. Great. Good transfers. We get into some good ones here. Uh, Donaldson Blade. We'll go to him first. <coughs> Balde. Blade. Bal Balde. Sorry, not Blade. He is a left, right winger, attacking midfielder or striker. He's two and a half stars with a four and a half star potential. Twenty year old Guinea Bissau Portuguese player. I like him. He's got some good physicals. He's great dribbling, great first touch. Good flair player. Likes to cut him from the left wing as well. So he has been bought for 300k and gone straight back out on loan to Faf. Um, it's from an I have Faith. Faffy? Faf. Anyway, not played a game, so I don't know why they want him back on loan. But anyway, that's him. My other two signings here, we've got uh, Juano Gutierrez. He is a striker. Uh, can also play on the right. I brought him in because I thought if we get an injury to either Holman McCormack or Jordi Ruiz, we're, we're a bit short up front and uh, he's come in and I think he's really, really good. Leganes for 5 million, so he costs a little bit. Three games, one goal already. But he's already worth almost 40 million at 20. So another Spanish uh, striker. Um, very happy with that and the resale value on that is wow, awesome. And the last player we got is, is Ishmael um, Asaidu. Ishmael Asaidu. He is another centre-back. This guy is a bit better. He is England, Ghanaian, and Swedish. He's come through Malmo. Malmo cost 2.5 million. He's been doing really good stuff in Sweden. 2.3 million, I should say. I click back. I always do that. Uh, he just come in, and he's just come in to shore up that defence as well. Uh, I like him. He's nice and strong. He's got some decent physicals. That determination is good. It's aggressive as well. He needs to work on his heading as he's uh, only 185, but he can play left bank, left left back, and also midfield if we need to. So really good utility player there as well. So really happy with a couple of those signings. And uh, like I said, can squeeze in on left back. That's why I let um, Apollo go out on loan. So transfers, I almost forgot, because obviously remember the club like pumped in eight and a half million after I panicked bought goalkeepers. Anyway. Let's go and play the game now that I've dithered for so long. Uh, yeah, Chernov is a bit tired, but he's going to rotate with uh, Goebbels, who's on the bench anyway. All right, we'll just give these guys the usual uh, the usual talk. I'm not sure I gave the midfielders a talk then. No, I didn't. Right, match preview. Here we go. Kicking it off, Bordeaux in great form. We've got uh, three wins in a row and a draw there. Like I said, we're undefeated in, I forgot how many games. Marseille, they lost their last game. That was to us. Ha ha, but they're a good team. We're at home, which is good. So let's just get straight into this game. We're going to dish out that encouragement straight away. Gonna... Like I was saying, a, uh, a loss isn't a disaster. There's still a lot of the season left. A, um, you know, I panic at times like this. I do have highlights on. Uh, a loss isn't a disaster. Um, but, you know, it's not the, uh, the be-all and end-all, but... It would give us a little bit of breathing room as we've got a nice chance here. And it is Holman McCormack. 70th goal of the season. What a buy this Colombian kid has been. Get him on your save if you do not have him. He is amazing. Um, yeah, so I was going to say a loss isn't, isn't bad. A draw is also acceptable. Uh, but a win would be fantastic. And we've started like an absolute house on fire at the moment they haven't even had a shot on target we're not going to dish out the encouragement that's always a bad idea when you're winning um but we're looking for Shurinov and Dumalan to probably come off oh the goalkeeper's made a right hash of that and Castillo's got the ball unmarked out here um <clears throat> Dumalan on the ball now it's Capilla looking for the 
Uh, right back, Shurinov. Shurinov has a pop, and Homer McCormack gets the rebound. And Homer McCormack scores his second goal of the game. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Oh, I want to probably make those substitutions right now. <clears throat> and it is going to be uh, Shurinov coming off for Goebbels, and uh, Dumalin can come off for Prince Koza. And we'll just keep an eye on everyone else. We've pretty much got this done and dusted, I would say. Uh, Marseille should struggle coming back in here. They haven't even shot, shot on target. We've shut them out the whole game. So this is excellent. Just what I wanted. A great win here uh, as we head into our Europa League game. We'll have to, you know, once again play a good team. It's Alte on the ball now. Kicking it. Goal, goal kicking it. Kicking it out. It's never the right term for that. Anyway, it is us on the attack now. Fila, Goebbels, Holman McCormack looking for his hat trick. There's Castillo on the ball now. Capilla out to the right for Fila. Fila now, Morgante, Goebbels now. He's going to try and scoot it across. Can he? No, Fila has a pop and it's in the back of the net. Carol Fila with his first goal of the season. The right back has an absolutely stonkingly good effort from outside. Oh, you love to see it. We are 3-0 up over Marseille and really, really showing them that we are the second best team in France. Castillo with the throw in. McCormack can't get to it, but Castillo mops up the ball. Al Masahi now out to Castillo, whips it in. Oh, man, McCormack on. Oh, it's off the post. He's missed out on his hat trick there. Oh, man, McCormack. Um, Roussel, we can leave him on, I reckon. We might bring Ame off. Or um, AC Adu, maybe is that how you say it? It's a very, very comfortable win here. Marseille probably could have got one, but we have, uh, you know, defended very well. It is still on the ball now with that throw in. Al Masahi, it's back to Morganti. Morganti, it's Homo McCormack. Oh, I mean, come on, just give us a penalty for his hat trick. It is Diego Vaccarigi now, and that, that is Capilla getting him sent off like a silly, silly sausage that he is. Why would you go and do something stupid like that? We're going to do what I did that one time and bring Prince, Prince Cozy down here and play him as an anchor on defend. Because that's what I did that one game when I had no centre-backs. And it worked. It worked. We scored five goals and they won. Anyway, we've got out there. They've got Giovanni Reina. How have they got him? That is a great buy. Great, great buy. Anyway, that is a great, great win. Absolutely outstatic. Outstatic? Ecstatic. That's the word I'm looking for. But it's a really, really favourable draw for us in the uh, Europa League knockout. We avoided some big boys here, so I'm really happy getting probably the weakest team here, I would say, in offensive league here. But we will look to uh, we'll look to play the best team we can, and then we'll be able to rotate for this one. Anyway, let's go and uh, play the Europa Europa League. I don't think I've been in the Europa, Europa League yet. No. No, I haven't. All right, here we are back for our game against uh, Legia Warsaw, I think is their full name. Anyway, we've got uh, Al Jawai in goal. Feel it right back. Uh, Acidu. Acidu is, uh, is coming for uh, Capilla. Although, actually, I've just realized Capilla. That's something we need to check. He is... He's banned for one game in uh, Liga 1. So... I should probably play him because he's not going to play next game. So we'll we'll pop him back to the bench. We'll make that change. Ame Pellegrini comes in at left back. Uh, Adil and Kostka come in to surround Dumalin in the midfield. Uh, Goebbels at left back. Ruiz left back. Left wing. Inside forward. Uh, Ruiz up front. And uh, our new man, Juanjo Gutierrez, is coming to play out on the right for this game. We've got McCormack, Russell, Koza, Morganti. And uh, the two defenders on there, Castillo, Al Masahi, and Shurinov, get a uh, get a bit of a breather. Although what I might do actually is, yeah, I put Shurinov instead of McCormack because we then we've got no one to play on the right. Right, I just said right twice in a row. All right, we're going to point the finger. Get out there and impress me. Uh, on the plus side as well, we play Ren next. They have just sacked their manager, so um, I've done it again. Um, so that'll be good for us next game. We'll be out there. Eight will be able to rotate nicely. He is Legia. No one stands out there. They're in pretty good form. They're undefeated in five, but obviously we are better undefeated in ten, I believe. Let's keep the game off. We're away from home. That's good. I mean, I always used to like that. Away from home first up uh, because you get the away goals, but that is no longer a thing. 
as it's Pellegrini and Adil combining in the box there. Back to Dumana, Adil Ruiz with his little green headband. Fila, can he score one like he did last game? That was an absolute cracker, but Gwervels, and he heads over the bar, unfortunately. Anyway, decent start. This is where we'll, uh, we'll toss out some encouragement to the boys. Just as the highlight starts, Pellegrini throws in, but it is cleared by the uh, early gear player. I may now on the ball. Costka, Ruiz, Ruiz to Gwervels. Can he square it back in? He did. He did. He did. And Adil has a pop. <laughs> But it is saved by the goalkeeper. So it is all us at the moment. There's some big teams having a look at those current scores going on. The likes of Borussia Dortmund, um, Atletico Madrid, Leipzig. It'd be nice to play Slavia Prague. That would be good and try and beat them. That'd be nice. Uh, Gutierrez now heads back to Ame. Ame crosses and uh, Goebbels on the ball. We're, we're, we're getting some chances. We're just not uh, being very clinical and finishing them, unfortunately. Uh, we've got to be careful here because we don't want to go to the away leg and uh, and have a lot to play for. I'd rather it be just a foregone conclusion with Gutierrez there, headers over the bar again. Getting all the shots, but uh, nothing to show for it so far, unfortunately. I think it's like your goalkeeper struggle, struggle to perform. He, like he hasn't had to do anything. Koska now whips in the free kick. That's a penalty. It is. Ref's got his finger in the air. He's talking to his buddy upstairs. We're going to drag this out. Checking the penalty. And it is awarded. It generally always is awarded. Uh, it is uh, that man, Goebbels. I think his name is Goebbels. I'm probably saying it wrong all the time. I do apologise. Let me know down in the comments. If you do speak French and you do know how to say these names, that would be much appreciated. Um, anyway, we are 1-0 up, and that's what I wanted. Uh, had to come through a penalty. Fine by me. Fine by me. Dortmund are losing to Napoli. Go on there. All right. And it is Legia now trying to get back into this game, but they are just swamped by Bordeaux defenders as it is cleared out by a, a blue shirted player. I couldn't even see who it was. Ruiz now back to Gutierrez. Fila and Gutierrez combining there with a tricky little one too, but Fila has lost out. And it is Legia Warsaw on the attack now, and they have, I think that's their first shot ever. Ever, not ever, in this game, obviously. We've got a corner now. Whipped in and uh, punched away by our trusty custodian. And uh, offside. Let's, let's just call it half-time. And there we are. They have one shot on target. That was that one there. But we have had... Look at that, actually. We, we, I mean, the penalty kind of, you know, um, exacerbates that XG a bit. But anyway... We should, we should just wrap this up in the second half. That is what I want, boys, to wrap it up in this half. And shout out and demand some more. I know we're winning, but that's cheat. Oh, I was going to say, let's cheat them all up. They said no, but I, I feel like I should demand more. I feel like it is justified demanding more. One nil up is not good enough. Costa and Fida on the ball now. That is a good ball with Gutierrez. Can he produce some magic? And no. I mean, it was a fairly decent cross, but uh, we might look to make a substitution. Ruiz is not playing great. We'll probably bring Shurinov on, on, I reckon, and push Gutierrez up front. But it is Legia now with the ball, looking to get one back and square this tie at one all, which is what I don't want. Fernandez on the ball now for Legia. And that is a good ball, but Aljuahi is such a rock at the back. Fila's looking a bit tired, as is a dill. We'll keep going for a bit and see what happens, but um, unfortunately we lose that one. Um, and they are really, really pushing forward here, trying to get a goal, and there it is. Jakob Jankto. I knew it was coming. How can we go and just absolutely annihilate a team like Marseille, and then we come up again? I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm being a bit disrespectful to these guys, I guess. Oh, and, and Gutierrez is obviously injured, so the man who I wanted to stay on now has to come off. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Um, and then we'll be with sell on as well, uh, as well as Prince Koza. So it's triple change, or I like to deem a triple threat. Is it going to be a triple threat? We will find out. Now I'm going to absolutely demand some more from them, and we're going to go very attacking because I want, I want to win this. Didn't want to have the, I mean, 
even if we win 2-1, that's still not good enough, to be honest. Russell on the ball now, charging forward. Plays it back to Prince Koza. Koza off to Kostka. Kostka now, Shurinov. Kostka again. All the way back to Kapila. Dumalin, will he have a pop? No, we just work on the ball and we lose out again. Oh. That was a great ditch. Okay, well, maybe just go to attacking. Maybe not very attacking. It's a bit risky. They score here. I'm going to flip. And we head her away through MA. But it is. It's too close for comfort. I mean, I thought we were at home. Saying we're away. I thought we were away. At home. Away at home? No, I was away. That's right. I'm getting very confused. I apologise. I was talking before about having to go to Poland and win this back. But our second leg will be at home. So... I guess that makes that a little bit easier. I'm, I'm a little bit more relieved now getting a one all draw, but I think a 2-1 two, two, win would be a lot better. Sure enough on the ball now, flicks it in, and the header is wide from the Prince. Try and demand some more here. We'll leave it on attacking, I think. That's a, that's a poor ball. Ruiz has been quite poor, actually, all game. He, uh, he was good last season, oh man, McCormack, but McCormack has just taken over from him. And sure enough, tries to bend that one in, but it goes over the bar. Quite a flat performance, to be honest, I would say. Anyway, Ame with the throw in now. Big, big throw. Sure enough, dealer on the ball. It's whipped in, and uh, there is me trying to... Do what my assistant says, and Jordi Ruiz has scored his 10th goal of the season. We'll watch the replay because I didn't see it. Keep paying more attention. And a good throw in. Sure enough, we'll say he got to it. And Fila and Ruiz unmarked heads it in over the goalkeeper. So that, that makes feel a little bit better. A little bit better. One more would be good. Can we get one more? Props not. I mean, we're the next year for three and a half. And theirs was 0.6. And we... Um, Kind of ruined that. Was it a good win? Mm. Oh, I don't want to upset them too much. We came back. It's away from home. Let's let's not be too critical of them. All right, Gutierrez at one to do day is feeling that man of the match. He was good. Very impressed with your passing. Excellent. Right. I think maybe I come back for the leg here and obviously the little game and I'll do the Nantes game off camera because uh, I think that's good because. You know, it's, we're only 2-1 up, so there's a lot to play for. We'll get the draw for the second round, and we've got the chance to make a Coupe de France final for the second year in a row. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that episode. If you've watched all the way here and you're not subscribed, if you consider doing that, doing that for me, it would mean a lot. Smash that like button and let me know in the comments, can we do a double? After that performance, maybe, yeah, maybe a single, but I'm still hoping for a double. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.